Hey, welcome back. Uh, today we're just going to do a little video on the 300. I'm going to do some maintenance to it. I uh, bought myself a new skid plate. So I figured it would be a good time to change the oil and do some maintenance to it. So we'll install this. Yeah, so we'll do an oil change on it and clean the chain. So on the first page of the manual, it uh, basically says if you're going to be working on your own bike, you should probably buy a service manual from them, from Honda. Um, that means if you're going to be doing like your own valve checks and stuff like that. But uh, just for general like oil changes and stuff like that, this is good enough. Okay, so we'll do the oil change first. We're going to check our spokes for tightness. Uh, my chain's not too bad because I usually clean it quite often, but I'll give it a quick wipe and I'm going to lube it down. If it's really bad, you can use something like this.
Something you got to tuck on your bike is uh, the free play on your clutch lever and the free play on your throttle. Usually uh, measure your free play at the end of the lever, but if you got aftermarket levers, you're going to have to measure the free play from the inside here. So I already have mine set up. And that's how much free play I need to have in mind to make it right. Um, I also set the free play in the throttle too. Um, yeah, some people complain about the jerkiness and the low RPMs. And a lot of that can just be because there was no slack at all in the throttle cable. But yeah, those two things you want to check. Without the service manual, it doesn't give you much information on how to service the brakes. All it tells you to do is check the brake pads for wear. You can see it there now, that's the wear bar. Right there. That's the wear line. And the brake pads. So then get down to that point right there, then you gotta change them out. It's good to go around and just check all your nuts and bolts. Like everything to do with the drivetrain. Make sure they're all nice and tight. Good rule of thumb is uh, with little bolts, use little ratchets. You don't want to break anything. Little ratchets or little wrenches. To check your coolant, make sure your bike's on a level surface. Level it out and just make sure the coolant's in between these two lines. Uh, preferably up to the upper mark. So be sure to check your tire pressures. Last thing I'm going to do for this service is check the crankcase breather. Yeah, I think it looks good. She's all ready. We're going to take the bikes out for a trail ride today. Hopefully get some good footage. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.